Have to go on. You know what? Cush on done. Cush on done. Do you know what's here? Do you know what's here? We did I tell you. Yeah, you might remember. We've got the wee beach walk. The wee beach walk out there. We've got the the old house garden walk over there. And we've got the caves. We got to do the caves again too. Right, we got this harness on you. And we get it out them. Harness on. Let's get ready. Go. Let's get ready, go Wallo! Let's get ready! Alright! What is that I put a jumper on Wallo? I think it's a jumper kind of day, you know. Oh, I'm going to put a jumper on. Hold on Wallo. It says the advantage of having a caravan or a motorhome. You can change your clothes to it today. Yeah, the jumper's on now. The jumper's on. <coughs> Start off with a wee beach walk. You can't go far wrong with a wee beach walk. But I had to, this road here is a wee bit dodgy. Well, hold on, hold on. What? Well, on we go. Not in fairness, then they put foot pads each side, like, so you don't have to walk along the road no more. Cushion Dunn's conservation area. As far as I know, most of the village is owned by the National Trust. They actually own the, the buildings, they own the beach, they own this. You know, in the car park. So there's toilets over there, but the toilets have been closed since COVID. Well, I think maybe lights aren't now. Might be open again. Uh, that was a, an old house. It later became a hotel. It's mostly lying empty now, but you walk around the grounds in the background. All the odd thing lying in the garden, there's an old church among them trees. Not a church no more. I think it's community hall or something like that. That bus is moving out. I'd prefer to be that other side. See when I leave that car park, it's a very tight... I, I had to reverse to get around that wall without uh, clipping the caravan. But if that bus hadn't have been there, I could have parked it all side that van. And it's very easy to move out onto the main road. Because the car park may be empty now and you come back, it could be jam-packed. And people don't realise that caravans back end swing out. Mine's not too bad, too bad. But the back end swing out. If you take a sharp turn. This wee beach here is big enough on the pit. You don't need miles and miles of sand. You just need big enough. And this one here is big enough. We don't even walk the whole length. We just walk half of it. No overnight camping or caravanning. But a lot of people do. I don't have to, because my caravan site is only two, three miles down the road, and the next one is only it's less than ten miles up the other way. So my next caravan site. So the next caravan site is Glenarf Forest Park. Glenarf is a nice forest, but only able-bodied people, wheelchairs, disabled, uh, less able body, don't go there. It's all steps. It's all steps. Built in the Victorian times when uh, people work the mills and if you, you either work the mills or else you, you didn't leave your front door. So here we are now, wee beach. I don't want to put down a turret. It's not very warm today. It's a wee cool, 17 degrees. But it's, it's a cooler 17. Perfect for wallow, perfect. I've no coat on. Just got this, I carry this wee uh, waistcoat because I need, I need pockets for poo bags and all the rest. Not much stuff to carry for her. Poo bags, lead, even though she's not hardly on it. Now, we bottle of juice for myself, maybe. Can be thirsty work walk on you, Wallow. It's just a nice wee noise off the sea. I was here seven months ago and it was very cold and there was ones in the water. You, you get people to do that type of thing. I think they call it a hobby. Come on, Wallow. Wallow's running, you see. What the wind winds are running now, like. For fuck's sake, the wild time the Wallow goes to, to stretch her legs and the winds are 
Run for the lives. Is that even barked at nothing? I don't understand. Like, you've got a beach. I can't go any further up that way. I can't go any further down that way. Why do people stand in the middle? So go one side or the other. There's a dog coming. Make way. What in this way, Willow? Willow Rock has a seaweed. Because that's where people sit. Where people sit to drop food. Willow! Willow! Oh. Anytime you see a sand cow, it guaranteed to feed on a thousand times. And another one. One well, of the boys left his view on my YouTube channel and he said it was pea meal. That was brilliant. She said to me maybe about pea meal for another dog. Straight in front there is an old hotel, Cushion Dunn. They painted over the hotel because they must be fed up people knocking the door. It's a house now, but it was a hotel. Horse and carriages would have came along back in the good old days, all the Victorians and all that. And then you've got modern houses up at the end, private parking, no parking here. And you think, well, that's private, you're not allowed up there. But once you go around the private houses, you've got a surge pump and ice station, which is why I keep saying these start paying water it. Somebody has to pay for the stuff. And just behind that, as brilliant looking caves. Now there's a castle up in the hill. Haven't got a clue anything about the castle. There's no signs to tell you about the castle on the hill. How you get up there, are you allowed up there as a private land? I'm sure there's a way up there, but it could be from our side of the hill. Mightn't be from this side, but you never see anybody walking up there from down here. That old wee car park in front there, we're walking on that now shortly, the green motorhome. That's also a national trust. That's also no parking overnight, and as you can see, people do park overnight. Depending on who owns the land, if the DOE own the land, it's unlikely there's going to be anybody out at night to bother you. If the council own the land, they could send out a traffic warden because they're getting money to help fund their uh, flower beds and things, and their pension schemes. So the council are more likely, if they put a sign up, they will find you. A national Trust, a National Trust can't find you. They can put a sign up, they can put barriers up, they can knock your door until you get out, but they can't find you. But I still wouldn't camp in this in the car parks. I guarantee that boy's not even a National Trust member. Put a lot of sand down there, they've done something to it. That's all fresh sand piled up there. Probably rocks underneath. There's a nice wee sheltered bay down here. That's not lost, it's a map. I've seen a few vehicles going in that paint. I, I prefer it. Nobody wants to polish. You don't see the army polishing their land rovers, do you? You get bricks and everything through at them. And all these splashes of green paint where paint first, they look grand. Oh, you're doing some snuff at the day, Willow. This is all new here, Willow. Up this way, pet. We harbour's over there. This just goes around a circle. And there's the bridge over there. We'll come back down that way. Not this way, Will. You have to get a wee bit of the houses and all in the video. So the National Trust would own all these. I haven't got a clue what the history is. But they're unusual even for the day they were built.
Last time I was here, there was a lot of wee birds in that hedge. It's not a very big hedge, but I see a number of wee birds was on it. There's one of them wee red, one of them lands. How's that? It's a wee moth thing, but it's red. I've seen them in Bunkrana. They're nice wee looking things, but you only ever see them on beaches. Beautiful wee red, red and black. Probably not landing. Yeah. If there's one, there might be more. Last time I seen them was Bunkrana Beach. There's a whole pile. They don't be there all the time. I don't know where they go the rest of the year. So there's the car park down there now. Mod cottages. That's all housing executive houses over there. You see how the housing executive like given PVC wonders. So we blend in with the rest of the houses because it's conservation here. on that one time. It's not so easy to cut to the shop if you if you want to come here for a holiday. We had the guys are out to look at but very small inside. Like people were smaller when they built that. They weren't banging their heads on rafters and stuff. Very mm -hmm. information panel. It tells you all the things you can't be arsed knowing, but Lord Cushion Dunn, known to political opponents as Lord Cushion and Dunn, so made his mark on West. Oh, you always find that years ago they'd be in Parliament. You never got paid. So it only was Lords and all who were MPs. Not because they're any good at it. You never got paid. That's why now they want prime masses where you go up. People think you get too much money. Coaches are back on the road. That's the first coaches they see. There's the wee harbour there. If we go back that way anyway. We're going to cross the bridge now. We're going to cross this bridge. Well, 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 I'm going to cross the bridge, honey. If you go down that way there, there's a wee riverside walk. It's a modern walk, just put in. Well, it's still a nice wee walk if you spare time. There's a lot of history down there. And under these caves, these caves were in uh, Game of Thrones. They're unusual. In 1856, it was widened in 1970 and refurbished in 2010. So it was widened pretty recently. I always like going underneath bridges. You can tell a lot by uh, bridges history if you go underneath.
you see the way they're on the bridges? There's the original bridge underneath. And then they just slap a modern construction on top. And you get that lot, don't give them the same. There's a lot of towns like that. So you think that don't give them would be uh, steel railings. So you think you're going over a modern bridge, but it's actually a stone bridge underneath. Same idea as that. The traffic and all still stays on the stone bridge. The pedestrians is hanging over the side. So it means if you do it, get a whole pile of lorries and pile them up at the side in the footpath, eh, it's going to be dodgy for it. Oh, there's actually a goat here, Wall. There actually is a goat. That's probably where the wee statue came from. Never seen the goat here. I was just kidding there, Will. You don't like to be tied down to a string, eh, Pet? So that would have been a hotel, somebody's house now. They must get pissed off, people photographing us. I didn't. You were going to do the same as the goat, are you? You're going to eat the grass? You and the goat compete? Uh, he doesn't mess about like you, but he just gets on with All these folk must be from them coaches. Huh? Whenever you get a pair of age groups, it's probably a Sunday school excursion or something like that. And another wee hotel up the seal. There's a modern bus here now. We're in this way, Pet. Too many people come on there, but all, it's just as well, Pet. We, we came with it. Them kids would have been bummed. All them tourists. Two coach loads of them. All going the same direction, so one of them buses. A bit. Sometimes you get last dressing up. Meant to be in the picture. I often think it's funny watching people take photographs. There's your man taking a photograph of a swan. Everyone's got a sword to lost your head there, Pat. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sammy, give the throne fans come down this way. You walk with a sword anywhere else, people think you're off. Come down here, you can carry one. They take a photograph of a swan. He hasn't looked at the swan. He spotted the swan, gets the camera, takes a photograph of the swan, and once he gets a photograph, he walks off. But he hasn't seen the swan. He not see that swan, so he goes home and looks at the photograph. I'm walking here now, I'm only holding this camera. I'm not, I'm not looking through it or nothing else. Oh, somebody's bought a wee tub of coral stones. Well, they're selling them, 10 pH. Cushion dun these aren't any of your shitty stones, these are cushion dun stones. 10 pH is very cheap for a wee stone that's been painted. I think it's now everybody's got credit cards, well. But for a wee win to do that for 10 pH, they're not making much profit. Come on, honey. I found my the other day, that's another treasure. I would have threw a wee bit on there, but... Well, I've got the, big, uh, the high path right there. Well, I've got this high path pit. There's a road path and a high path. See, that wing could be done for theft too, you know. She's picking stones off the ground. It's illegal to take uh, stones off a beach. She's in the crime already. The 
the police can confiscate that wee jar of proceeds of crime. Nobody carries money now. It's all chip and pun. Whoa! The caves! Yeah, they go into the caves! You can be through other times, you know. This is Game of Thrones! Game of Thrones! There was two puppies in the Game of Thrones too, so there was. Ah, uh, so you can come down and see where the puppies were. Mum! Oh, wallow! Now when I first came to these caves, I didn't know it was Game of Thrones. I was just inspired by the caves himself. It's unusual because you got the round smooth rocks. So it means the round smooth rocks, but had it been on a river to get rounded off. Them round rocks there. They don't come out of the earth like that. They come from a salt rock, broke off, and it's rounded off by tumbling over the years. But then the round rocks have uh, got set in the mud, and over millions of years, the mud has become rock. So you've got rocks that are stuck on other mud rocks. So if you look at it, it's not totally unusual. You have all these stones stuck on the rock. Well, that's hard, like. It's not, that's more like a sandstone there, but if you had a pen knife, you think somebody's cemented it all. What do you see down here now? Though? You see where the stones have come out? But that's rock. You're not going to flick that off. With a hammer, aye. Ah, you bang it off with a hammer. But like I said, that must have been very old to begin with. Yeah, that would have been part of a cliff, or part of a volcano. And then it's got rounded off with water over thousands of years and then it's trapped under clay for millions of years to turn out like that. There's a wee first cave here. You know, rocks could fall on your head. Hello? 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 This is actually deeper than I thought. I, I expect a wee baby thing. I'm going through the water, I'm going through the water. It's probably pitch black, but you'll see when I go out how deep it is. Hello! It's cool in here as well. I would say there's some punching stored in here in this day. Hey, we're at the end now. We're at the end. Oh, well, I don't know if that's very clean. I don't know if that's very clean, that pit. The water is dripping off the roof. It's a wee static mites, static tights type of thing again. It's not dripping on my hair, but you can see the wee beads. It's not sharp here on the camera because it's too dark. You can see the wee beads. So in theory, that water down there could be like a spring water. It's filtered through that rocks maybe over 100 years before it drops down here. But while it's not very clean, of all the water I offer you, Pep. It was a dog bone in the caravan and everything, I don't know. Now that there is impressive enough there, but where do you see these big ones? Where do you see the big ones? Game of Thrones, you feel the heat when you walk out, Wallow? Wow, I feel, you feel the heat when you walk out? I thought it was pretty cool today. I'll tell you what, you walk out of that cave, you feel the heat hitting you. There's a Game of Thrones for Game of Thrones fans. That was a big cave down there they used there. there the, all the thingy jigs and all they used. I seen the farm crew up on uh, up on uh, Tully, Tully Moore one year. Do you want to see the amount of equipment they bring with them? The number of lawyers. They even had ceramic portaloos. Not the plastic ones the council put out. These ones, they had a big, one of them big four wheel drive things that uh, housed five people. I was towing this trailer. All the, the locked apart like, and this trailer was all ceramic toilets. Men's, women's, and all the rest. Run on water. Not very, you know. Well, them stars, they, they get the, they get special treatment, so they do. You know, there's a driver now just for the toilet. He needs fed. Then the catering. I see the amount of catering comes with him. The lighting and all that. And like, you stand there for hours and nothing happens. All setting things up. And so there's the main big ones now. They made a rock coming off the top, which it could do. Bear in mind, all them rocks at the beach came from up there. You look at the size of some of them ones that fell off, like. Well, you, if it hit you in the head, you wouldn't know what hit you. You can see this rock's up in here now, like. 
that nice rounded rock. If you look up there, that fits a hole somewhere. That fell down from up there. Look at the size of them buggers there, like massive. Something you get in Jurassic Park. These big ones are like dinosaur eggs. Well, over you would find something to eat. And that doesn't think about this wee one here. There's a gate in the far side. What's somebody hiding in there? Looks like an armchair, doesn't it? I'll have to take a closer look. Somebody's put an armchair there, but they want to keep it dry. That's what it is. That's an armchair. So somebody likes to sit in here. Hey, you know what it probably is? Nah, how did we get my throwing fans with it? Nah, you don't know. Weird things happen in the world. It's not exactly a throw, but you know, people might pretend it is. Look, there's a big gate up here. You think they would have made the gate to blend in? Oh no. That man, that's his private property. He's fed up tourists sticking their head and gawking in his window. So he said, I'm putting my gate on there. Now, you understand that? I'm just wondering, was this cave as big as this at one time, or did somebody come along and turn the rest of the way through so they get up to the estate or whatever, whatever is not say that gate, whether it's forestry or whatever, they wanted access. So it ended up being chiseled away. There's concrete up there, that's concrete. They may have come in here when I had chisel and chiseled some of that away, you know, and made it bigger. The front is the original size, but it may have got smaller than my back. You don't need Game of Thrones. This is worth a common to see just for the sake of coming to see it. Somebody's lost to be. Remember my Noah? See, that's somebody from Stuban there. Eh? We fell in Belfast, but nothing. And they found him dead. And a cul de sac. But his mother was from Stuban originally. You know, if somebody, there's other ones from Stuban who have done murders, nobody talks about them. They don't want to be associated with the town. But whenever a crime's done against somebody, then the Stuban folk adopt them. Well, he's one of boys, even though we thought probably never set foot in Stuban. And another wee alcove on there. Don't know what Walla was. Oh, there she is there. See, Walla can give scale to the place. If you look at the size of that wee body, gives you an idea of the size of this cave. It's huge. Hello? Hello? There's an echo. This is only my third time here. The number of times I used to pass through that wee village, usually the coast run, never knew this was here. And when I found it, I didn't know it was here because of Game of Thrones. I just came upon it, I was just being nosy one day. I just thought, I wonder what's down there. I want to be nosy, nosy days. See, now I've got the caravan, now, you don't have to rush around in one day. You can stop, I look, see, look. Somebody had a gate on here. See, back in the olden times, no trespassing. You went in somebody's land, you got your hands cut off and stuff. Oh, they didn't mess about. Somebody owned everything. Hey there. Look at that roof there. If you're an American, you'd say that was awesome, wouldn't you? I'll tell you what's interesting here. There's a bit of geology here. This is, this is proper geology. Look how small the stones are there. That's more of the gravity part. And then the stones get bigger. So it could have been glaciers that brought all these stones down. During the Ice Age. And you glaciers coming down all these glens. You know, they've got a, a panel there saying Game of Thrones. But it would be nice if they had a panel telling us what's happening here. Look at that, the way that is cut out there, like. Something's been grinding down there for a long time to do that. It's going down. Now that's not a wee bit of water from here. So, I mean, that's not far from the Giant's Causeway. Everybody runs the Giant's Causeway. This is not, it looks huge. It's all 
unbelievable how, how many stones. So it must have come down with glaciation. Glaciers must have been running down and just popping here in a pile. But then if a glacier is blotted down, that's only 10,000 years ago. They wouldn't have went in the rock. So it must have been a previous glaciation. It's not the last glaciation. It must have been one before that. I ain't got a clue. That's one of the things you can wonder about. But still, it's definitely worth a seeing, like. It's definitely worth seeing. Well, then, well, you can dip your toes in there. You know what she'll do? She'll probably try and drink that. Like, here's all the stones lying here now, all rounded off the seashore. Can you imagine now how long that would have to set in mud? If that sea was to retreat, if that sea was to go back for a couple of thousand years, and all the muck and all starts setting in us, and then the sea comes in again, it was a mile deep, maybe for 20,000 years or so, and then it starts going in the mud. I don't know. But that's, that's understandable for a wee bit, but for so much of it, look how deep that is. It's more rock now than the bottom, the black stuff. That could just be the sea. But I don't know. Yeah, I've never seen that else. To me, this is, this is as rare as the Giants Causeway. Look at them stones there. How shiny they are, and they're wet. You can sell them in a garden centre. Hi, Dan. Now, I don't think we're going out that way. Well, we'll have to go through the cave again. Oh, these rocks down here. It's a different rock again. Look how it's all worn down. No, it's not there, you know. The rocks in it. It's just been worn down with the water. Call it cushion done caves doesn't give it justice, does it? You wouldn't look at the map. Like Giant's Causeway, she gives that like uh, the local name, Stones. It's not the same as Giant's Causeway. This needs a proper name. But in saying that, there's been two coach loads of people here. Half the folk in Northern Ireland don't even know this is here. And there's Chinese tourists coming in, photographing us. People just don't know what's on their own doorstep. I would count this as my doorstep. Well, oh, Northern Ireland, everywhere in Northern Ireland you can go there one day. Some people are more back and beyond than others, aren't they, Wallop? You can go 10 miles from your house, like a bit back and beyond. Just nobody goes. Unless you really have to, like done them And then you get other places like this here. Ah, that's only an hour and a half down the road. That's next door. So we'll do this wee walk here. We'll, go, we'll come and get the caravan with us. I'll get my wee cup of tea. She can have a wee bite to eat. We'll have a wee sleep for a couple of hours. We'll have a wee sleep for a couple of hours. And then we'll do the other wee bit of walk. That's why I like the caravan with me. Willa likes a wee afternoon nap. Not, not. Near storm's end, the stormlands. Castle Dunn Caves, that's what it's called, Castle Cushion Dunn, Cushion Dunn Caves. If you heard, if you were a tourist coming into Belfast, Cushion Dunn Caves, use, oh, sorry, cave, was used a location near Storm's End and the Stormlands in season two. I haven't seen, I've seen a bit of, what's season one? I didn't see season two, what's about? And although we see this location only once, only once it was on it. Ah, the storm didn't last too long. Where are we now? The consequences of what happened there are far reaching. People have tried to vandalize us too. And it goes on about the story, but unless you know about it. Chaos and mayhem pursued afterwards, well. Chaos and mayhem pursued. A speedboat out there. See, before they built this wall. The sea made a rest in there. You imagine the right storm coming. You can imagine the water going in there, making that hole. 
I would say this here is Victorian since children's real estate. And it's like, hey boys, we can make money here. See that wee, uh, that wee hands down there at the gate? Uh, it's getting money for people to charge. If you made a hole in the wallet, you could charge it in Victorian times. They would get that, they would get a labourer. We're building river lines, canals. Anybody, everybody back then could use pickaxes. Well, fair another one, Waddle. This one's more for a divorce. There's not designed wrong with divorce. It's just big people will find a problem. Uh, this is a more alcoholic place here, Pat. There's a wee bit of glass line here. The bourgeois come on there. You know the worst thing about credit cards and all? Chip and pin. Would have been a time when people went out and bought drink and got drunk, they would drop the wee bit of money. And you, if you're up there in the morning walking your dog, you could have found a wee bit now and again. You'd even find the odd wee note floating about. I see now this chip and pin all came out. You get the odd 10 p. I, I found three euros last week, but you don't get the money the way you used to. Dog walkers are in a good position to get money. But the drunks aren't using it no more. I think we should stop chipping from the bars. Well, well, not too thrilled about Kios, I've had it more. Might go down and see this goat again, Willow. I think she needs a good drink of water, but uh, one can but try. I walked down there one time. There's a, there's a sound of a wee stream. It brings out no end of the town, but. It's not really worth doing, like, if you have pairs of holiday people here and you've got a dog and you want to stay away from them, then you can go down it. There's like a wee bit of a waterfall, but you don't really see it. You can hear it. Stones come out as far as here. But you see the colour of them stones? It's sort of reddy colour. So it's not surprising the bridge is a reddy colour. You know, you know now where they got the stones from. They must have mined it from somewhere around about here. Them boys couldn't be ice carrying stone too far. It's not like uh, stone hens they used to carry hundreds of eyes. We timed that very well, well, we timed that, there's another batch coming out, we timed that very well. That boy on the motorbike could actually drive a day in caves, might as well the bike up, that'd be a good commercial for a motorbike. Island that bike. So these stones are all in here too. The whole place. That should be on the calendar the same as the Giants Cosby. There must have a trick here. If this here was Cork or somewhere pet, I'll tell you them hotels down there would be five times the size and full. Are we going to head back now, honey? I don't, you need a drink badly, there's no, there's no water, well, there's no water. You gotta drink it on the caravan. There's the wee swan your mum was photographing. They're yeah, sleeping now. There's no wee breeze now, the breeze has stopped. Oh, the car park's just over there. You see them, the, 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 the wee camper van. I don't like that, sorry, wall painted. You think I'll try to use the black stone, blend them. Leave me better if they just left the concrete. There's the concrete underneath. They should just left it grey. All that wee lake in there would have grey on it. Well, they bought the apartment blocks, they were trying to sell them. So they splashed a wee bit of paint on, make the place more brighter. 
I know the sword, nobody's bothered to come out the temple again. See, hotels weren't very big years ago. You didn't have your own suites and things. You probably would have came as horse and carriage to the Lord or something like that there. And you had five people carrying his cases up. I would have paid the wrong hotel for a week. But now everybody comes on now wanting the cheapest things they can get. Smuggling on their own drink and stuff. Well, at least we know the bar is still going. It's got a table there. There's no way sign up. This is a pub. These premises are unsuitable for children. And not many bars put that up. There's no horns that we got. You're a friend of me thing, aren't you, huh? You man, boy or girl. You're probably fed up with pulling at your ears and stuff. I'm not going to go near you, look, he looks a bit dodgy. I'm not going to harass you, you're okay. I just want to release the word be, that's all. You board stuff, are you? You board stuff? Oh, we go, Pep. Well, well, his back legs are raising up now, Pep. I know. He, oh, well, he, he doesn't like dogs. I know he's relaxed now, he's relaxed. More relaxed now. Uh, they could probably kick you, well. Back legs are probably kick. Like a donkey. Don't know. Well, he doesn't want you going behind. Will you let me pet you? Oh, hello. No, still not going behind you, but yeah, then back legs. I I seen donkeys kicking, pal. I seen donkeys kicking. Oh, no. Well, he is friendly, wolf. He is friendly. But all the animals always go for water rather than eat. Same way cows and everything. You can understand cows. Go away from the back, wolf. Go away from the back. You kick vet bulls. Vet bulls. Give him the price of vets. He give you a kick. You don't go for stuff on his bum, he's a goat. Stay to the front pet. A wee bite's not as expensive. You any wee itchies anywhere, have you? You any wee itchies? You always get the right out dirt of horses and stuff. It must be just rolling on the ground now. No. Nah. That's not much of a rice stuck there in a rope pet. Nah. Not much of a life. You got a wee itchy ear or anything? Any, any, any itchy ears? I can scratch your ears, no? I don't want the ears done, Molo. Oh, you got a wee itchy at the back? You want me to do that wee itchy at the back? I, I can do you a wee itchy. You got a wee itchy, I can give you a wee scratchy. I might as well do something useful when I'm here. What are wee scratchy? I can scratch, but you can't scratch, you see. Oh, I feel good. Does that feel good? Ah, see? Oh, that side. Does that side need a wee scratchy? Does that side need a wee scratchy? You don't look like you're enjoying it. There's no tail wagon or nothing. Oh, but the head's coming round. You want more? More scratchies? I'm going to have to go now, but you can do my wee cum, you know. The fur is very short here. And maybe that's as wee bit. Your skin's flaking a wee bit. Your skin's a wee bit flaky. There you go, I have to go on now, we, we think. I don't know what you are. <coughs> yeah, nice wee one, I know. You got a wee scratchy back there, have you? I don't know, that, dude, that's scratchy too. Hello. How you doing? Hello. Get all the scratches done now when I'm here. <coughs> Is that you now? Is that all the wee scratches done? Oh, I'm not going to scratch the tummy now. Oh, I wouldn't go there now. I would not going to go there. I'd buy a wee thing. Oh no, well, he's a very nice goat, well. Ah, but you were very dodgy going around the back. He could have kicked out. Not because he hates you, he's just scared.
I didn't. What up, what up? He's just bridge now. That's why it's always interesting to run beneath a bridge. Just reinforced concrete laid on top of the original bridge. So they put they put down a slab of concrete over the whole thing to give it strength. And then this big bridge then them expands just go from end to end. Just like you'd use in a block of flats, load in with a crane. It's a very easy way to widen the bridge. But it shows, like, shows the weight, they take the weight of that new bridge on top of the old one. Some weight in them foundations like. But the more weight you stick on an outer bridge, the stronger it gets. But there must be a limit before the foundations give way. There's a nice big spot here if it's raining. With a bit of a pipe in there for some reason. You got a nice big spot in here, well, the rain coming down and a wee, wee bench or something. A wee bit of railings. So that's pretty modern. I said that April was it? Well, it was not very modern. I'll check the date again, I've forgotten. There's some carrots there. That'd be for the goat. There's a couple of carrots there, well. Why don't we take these down to the goat? The goat must have been up here, and as we drink, couldn't reach. Hang on a minute there, Ted, hang on a minute. I don't know if I'm fresh enough now, really. Up there, Pet, are they yours? Are they your carrots? Somebody must have threw them in the bridge for you, Pep. I knew a wee rub couldn't reach, and I thought, well, you need your wee carrots. Right, so we know where I got these carrots, anyway. That might even help your wee skin. I'll leave them for you, eat them in peace. That's a point. I'll head on. Right, nobody likes to be taped and eaten well. You can get done, you don't have to record it. Oh, there are my carrots, but just well, we haven't done that. I wouldn't have found them. See, you don't know where you end up or what you're doing. Well, me up in the morning, we don't have a clue. I don't know whether to give them cash yet, both today. See, if I'm motor home like that, they turn down that wee road and I hope it gets parked. It's a bit dodgy. One of the car parks full. They're all fine, each other. That's the problem now. Why you can't with stuff like that. What, 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 what am I here? I'm here all day. Everybody's going down there. Oh. Just get swamped very quickly. And now one's complaining about them. No footpath from the other side. I know it's a conservation area, but here's modern curbs in there. Do you think they put a footpath? Originally the whole place would have been mucked, wouldn't it? We'll go back now to the caravan now, we'll
All over here, Pat. See how wide this road is to the corner compared to that wee road there? See, the post back then, folk didn't leave the village that much. Near the harbour. But they were all scuttling among each other's houses, pushing wheelbarrows and all the rest, coming up here to get the water. So the main road would have been a wee busy place. But the side roads, well, on the main road out, wouldn't have been as busy. It's a long time. I looked at the country, forgotten about that flower bed there, Pet. I forgot they won that one. Come on, honey. Look this guy comes down, Pet. Social distance and all that, Pet. Social distance. There's a wee church. It's a funny place for a church. Can you bear in mind when they built that church? They didn't have the, they didn't have the plan for mission even nowadays. You can stick it anywhere. I mean, maybe they thought the village was going to get bigger. Maybe they had big grand plans for this field. And the church would have fitted in nicely at the end of a park or something like that. But it's away from the village a bit. Yeah, everybody had to walk back then. Well, why make them walk the whole way out here? Old church something now it's called. Uh, more money going on. These schemes. I just hope they're asking about now. Since I've gone to the past, it's going to drive out. Well, up here, Pat, up, up. Up up! Well up! Right there. I'm trying to think, well can we walk around that yours? Charles is over there now, I know Charles is open. Oh my god. See there's a harbour over there. Why did the church want to be so far away? I think you can walk around that graveyard and into that, because I didn't walk down here the last time. I said, that woman I messed up in the car is me off. We stole a pair of lights, I didn't know much light of them at night time. Light up this lane way. And it's nice and cool here now, a nice cool breeze. You wouldn't hardly tell them the temperature here and the temperature just over the other side of the field. I need to wash my hands now after that be good. I got wipes in the caravan but I need proper water. So I'm going to these turrets now. Oh well this is dodgy here Pet. This is dodgy. Walla walla walla. On the side. See why does two cars come up once like? The car going behind here to come out. Hold on there honey. Look at the car coming out. Oh, come out, but drive faster, like. Why do they ask about, like? It's going from there to there, just get there, like. When you see a hazard coming up, he sees a car coming behind me. He's heading forward, and everybody just sort of slows down, freaks out, and then leaves you no room. Just get on with it. Hey, well. See, you know that man? He hasn't walked in a while. He doesn't know what's like. I've never seen that sign there with the keys. People need to go out and walk more, cycle more, and they know what it's like, brothers. It's 
Where's the entrance? Tire's pretty clean. Was it hot water? Hot scalded, scalded. That's the main like proper tire up that water up there you can show sure enough. Well, it's been fair, we're going out for a second walk. I've done a couple of videos on my laptop. I've got up like that to get rid of the heat. You hear the fans blowing away. And that, that thing is doing pretty well. It's cloudy now. I have it on the solar panel. But, uh, uh. Not much sunshine in there, like. Well, I'm on this way. Set this door, panel in between. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. What, what, what this car goes, pet? What this car goes? It takes a while long time, doesn't it, pet? Why, why people just don't move? One's coming in and one's going out and just like nothing each other. camper coming in. You see if you get that uh, two hours of sunshine, it can make a big difference that we power pack. I'm only relying on that power pack just for the laptop, that's all. I use a uh, mon bullet on this way. I'm using uh, the USB power banks for everything else. I have about 10 or 12 of them. And they're not all really cheap crap things, they're anchors and things like that. Um, Phillips. Well, regular pair shops are useless. I didn't. One this way, well up, up. A bit of a shelter, it's not been used. One this way now, honey, see we don't just be garden. But the thing about power, it's a bit like, the best way to imagine it's like water. Imagine you're sitting in your house, it's been pissing in the rain for 10 days, you haven't got outside, and somebody comes over to you with a glass of water, they just pour it from a tap, and says, do you want that glass of water for a penny? You tell them where to go with. But if you're in a desert, and you haven't drank for a day, and you've another four days of walking to do, and somebody offers you a half a half a pint of uh, pee. You pay good money for that so you would. You know, it's worth a lot more. So to cut long story short, these jackeries and all powers and all these things, there's no such thing as free electricity. People like to say, oh, look there's the sunshine, it's free. It ain't free. Any electricity that you make, no matter how you make it, is always gonna be more expensive than a 13 amp plug. It's all the with scales of power. It's more environmental friendly if, if it works, but as far as people traveling and touring, I would even argue it's not more environmental friendly because you've got the cost that goes into making it. How often are you going to tour? How often are you going to make it? How often are you going to use it? If you have a traditional chemical battery, there's no moving parts. The only thing I fear about them power banks, these lithium batteries, is they aren't just batteries, they're electronics as well inside. And would you buy a Rito today, expecting that Rito to still work in 10 years time? For the last couple of years, you've been lucky. So I doubt that all these lithium power packs, I bought that one for the laptop. Because the laptop cost about six, seven hundred pounds when I bought it. That's an i7 processor, it's still a good laptop. It's never used, stuck at the house, can't power it when I went in the caravan. So we're spending 200 pounds on a lithium battery. If that allows me to use my laptop, then that's paid for itself. So as long as, it, if I get a couple of years out of it, the fact that I can use the laptop, and I'm getting used to the laptop, I had a laptop lying in the house, it's barely used. So you can say that's 700 pound wasted. So imagine the next time you go into a shop, you look at a, a laptop or something like that and the boy tells you it's four hours battery life. 
well, with an extra 200 pound, you can extend that to 30 hours battery life. And it's a big bucket machine, like, but the fact that it extends the life of something, that alone will pay, f will pay for itself. I'll be able to do wee videos around the caravan. Well, it does it morning walks. She has to sleep. Sun was shining. Sun's down now, well, it's back out. And I've done two videos in the laptop. That's the old house the man used to live in. 1923 is on the front. I think it was a fire or something in it. And then they had to modernise it, but it's concrete. Somebody came along and says, you know, you don't need to use stone, you know. It's just wonderful material, concrete. Brilliant job, he says, brilliant jobs. Brilliant I mean, there's no high-rise flats built then. He says, I, I can do that wee job for you there for a quarter of the price. And you can go off and have a wee, a wee, a wee holiday home in Spain. Your boy says, it's a brilliant job, I'll do that. But it hasn't worked as well as stone. It just hasn't worked as well. But he probably got his holiday home in Spain, so he, he's no longer here. So it's not to say it was wrong what he done. I don't know what he done, but he got a big house. done on the cheap, like it, it looks cheap. And where's she gone? Come on, Willow, come on. So I was going to do a review in this my all this all power things, but I'm, I'm not going to do a review on it for a while yet. I'll do the wee video clips in it. Because it wouldn't be right. The thing is, if it's good for me, can't say it's good for anybody else, and neither can anybody. It all depends what you're going to do with. But if you've got a solar panel and it's got a USB cable on the back of it, and you plug it into your phone, that's the best way. If you can do that, that's the best way. I have a solar panel, USB, plug it into a USB power bank, even better. That's, that's the way I've been doing it. So I've got plenty of power banks. You imagine if you go, imagine you leave your house, forget about the water idea, you leave your house, you know it's going, you're going to go away for a weekend, and you need 10 pounds to do that weekend. Now you have a choice. You have two pounds in your pocket and you can go out and you could hope you might find some money back bottles. In which case, you get the money back bottles, you can take them to the shop. So when you're out, you'll be, you'll be you don't know if you're going to find money back bottles. You, know, you don't know if the sun's going to shine. You, you can find you can find a hundred bottles and you won't really carry them all. You can only carry 10 bottles like. So you can have a whole pile of bottles, a hundred, you can only take 10 and you cash them in and that gets you another couple of pounds. Then the following day, there's no bottles at all. You know where you're getting the money. That's your weekend ruin. But if you can put £10 in your pocket and forget about having to hook for bottles when you're out, regardless, you're guaranteed to have a good weekend. So I like to spread my bets like, I have multiple power packs, USB power packs. My phone will never run out. But if I'm driving in the car, I could plug all 10 in the one and go. So if each, if each battery pack gets a half an hour charge, if I'm driving a half an hour, I'm going to put up at 10. And I've got five hours worth of power. Well, if you've got one battery pack and you flatten it and it takes five hours to charge up, when are you ever going to drive five hours? If you make one battery pack work ten times harder than ten, that's going to last one tenth the time. So you as well just get the ten battery packs and never run out of power. That's the way I do it. And the battery packs are a lot cheaper than these lithium batteries. I got the Anchor ones at Christmas, down to £10 in the Black Friday sale. I bought four of them. If I was to buy the same amount of power and then battery packs as that Anchor, as that, as that all power thing that I got, you'd be chatting about £100. If that all power thing is £200. And yet the battery packs aren't going to fail as easy as the all power thing is going to fail. When it goes, you've lost everything. Oh, a wee robotic lawnmower here. Auto mower. There's an automatic lawnmower here. What do you want? Fancy looking for it. Ah, oh, somebody's painted. That's 
must be fed up with an alarm or something like this. Warning, I'm a robotic lawnmower and fed up with advanced safety features to allow me to work. No, by alarm, somebody's pissed it. Is there a real lawnmower? What, what are you doing? Somebody must have threw a sandwich in there. What are you doing hooking in there? What are you doing hooking in there? You're an embarrassment. Come on, take a look around this wee garden right here. This is one of these properties you don't know that you're supposed to be here or not. The last time I took a wee chance and ah, there's wee, there wee businesses in there. No one person sort of owns the whole thing. There's the wee lawnmower there. You must be charging up, Willow. Look, we've seen everything now, haven't we? We've seen walking fish, now we've seen a robotic lawnmower. But I'll tell you what, going by the length of these weeds, he hasn't been cutting very much lately. Ah, he's been... Maybe he's waiting until off-peak electric comes. And he might charge up on off-peak electric. But the grass is not even short around it. Because that's the future there, well, that is the future. Look, he's been cutting along here, don't the... How did you know where to cut? I don't see a wee wire in the ground. Look, he's gone to them bushes there. That's not a man out of a job there. Well, he's always done it there. This grass is all dead. You often find with these big houses, it's the wee outbuildings are the most interesting. I say, I'm not 100% sure you can There's nothing to say keep out of like that. We don't do no damage. No wee apple trees and all. Stone's very noisy. Well, these wee things are good here. I'd like to see bees flying out and out of them, but. No bees in us. Man can, but try. Listen to it. Unless I've got the wee plants, these probably are for wee bees, these plants, but we're not seeing no bees here. Imagine the boys lifting stuff for another that wee door at the top. Oh, breaking their backs. There's a bee there. He's more of a wasp. There, a wasp. I suppose they need something to eat too. People say wasps don't do nothing, but them, everything's got everything's got a, a reason. Ah, butterfly. Need a wee brownie colour thing, is it? Ah, oh. oh, bumblebee, bumblebee. Oh, that's just a couple of bumblebees. See that bump? Can he get he get into the big hole? We need different size holes, different size bees. You see the bees in there? They pollinate the wee apples. That's how it works. No bees, no apples. This way, well, see these old buildings now. National Trust, oh, National Trust. See, I never thought, I don't think National Trust owned that house. It's a wonder they didn't. See, unless it's got a, a Italian plastic ceiling or something like that, they're not interested. There's its caravans in there, caravan site. Didn't realize it was so close. Them wee buggers have done knocking the apples once they get big.
that's a pretty modern type of. No, it's not just wee bits of wood nailed on. I thought it was a aluminium air vent. They could do and get that wee goat up here. Give the grass a wee trim. I'll say the wee goat would love to get in here, free ranging. They help with security as well, so he would. Get him off that uh, rope pit. I might start heading on somewhere else now, well, I left that solar panel up. Solar panel seems to be working in the summertime and the bacon heat. I can't ever see me taking it away for a weekend. That's only because I'm away two weeks. A weekend I have enough of battery power. So I would still say to people, get the battery power, get economical things. Don't rely on solar power. And then all the people then, uh, well, they sit all week in the one spot. You get people may sit two weeks in the one spot. And if they do that, so the panel's the only way to go. They put up the wee uh, windbreakers and they sit and do the nutting and stuff. Well, we'll take out all we dilly dally down to the beach. We're not going to see a beach. I oh, know we will see. We'll see a beach later on. No, will we? No. I think it's our last beach. We're going to go up to Glen Arf next. Oh, we'll let her do the picnic tables. Keeps her happy. It's not for the amount of stuff she finds at picnic tables. It's like hide and seek. Gives her a wee boost. Let me see if I touch it now, look, look what happens. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> what am I doing to you? What am I doing? Am I teasing you, Emma? Am I teasing you? Hey? Eh? Uh, I can. <laughs> 